What's going on, YouTube community? It's your boy YFG on Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, man, for those who don't know, it's been a sad, sad injury in the NBA community. Um, small four Indiana Pacers star Paul George, he suffered a nasty, brutal injury. And I'm pretty sure by now a lot of people seen this, and it was just gruesome. You know, I just want everybody to send their prayers out to him, hope that he gets well, speedy recovery, because this is going to take some time to come back from. It's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication to come back. And as far as the, you know, the Indiana Pacers and the fans, man, this is supposed to be possibly the year that, you know, this, this team could have probably got to the finals. And now, you know, they lost Lance Stevenson, and now they just lost their superstar, Paul George. I don't know what's going to go on with the Pacers. Like I said before, still an open field in the East. But, man, this was just nasty. Now, I'm going to read some things real quick. You know, just so I won't mess up my information. You guys can, you know, hear it the right way. Um, Paul George, he suffered a gruesome lower right leg fracture during the U.S. national team um, entrance scrimmage at UNLV on Friday. He underwent a successful surgery later that night, so he's doing fine right now. He's just going to be in the hospital for a couple days, and they're going to release him. Um, in a statement released after his surgery, was completed. U.S. basketball confirmed George suffered an open tibia fibula fracture and is expected to remain hospitalized for about three days. Um, sources close to the situation told ESPN that there was no additional damage besides the fractures. Doctors <coughs> excuse me, believe George likely will miss all of next season, though no official prognosis has been given. Um, Paul George's leg landed and then buckled at the base of the basket after he fouled James Harden on a drive to the basket just 27 seconds into the fourth quarter. Um, so, yeah, man, that was just a nasty, nasty injury. I couldn't even watch it over. I just watched it one time, and I didn't want to look at it no more because I don't know if it was because of his adrenaline, but I don't even think Paul George knew that his leg was all leg, ankle, whatever was all messed up because it looked like he was still standing, but he wasn't in shock. But that could have been because of the adrenaline. But um man, it's just sad. Now I broke my right fibula bone before and it hurt like hell. Like I was when I got in the car accident, I was literally I didn't realize that it was broke, but as I was trying to walk, I was just limping. So I can just imagine how he felt still standing and then just falling down. Man, but yes, gruesome, gruesome injury. Let's just pray for Paul George. Hope that he comes back strong. And let's just hope that this is not a career-changing injury. I hope not because the guy is so, you know, he's still young, still has a lot of promise in the NBA. And let's just hope that this doesn't affect him every time that, you know, he comes back on the court. Hopefully he can get the surgery, I mean, uh, heal from the surgery. Work hard, get better, and then get back on the court. But as far as this season for the for the Pacers, I don't know, man. It's, it's just up in the air. I don't know. But you guys tell me what you think. Do you think Paul George's career is going to be different, or do you think he can bounce back and be stronger and better? And what do you think about this um, Indiana Pacers? Comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share, do all that good stuff. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook, and I'm out.